โอเคอ่าไอ like the music โอเคสวัสดีกลับมาอีกสิเอ่อ anyway so I'm starting off with this game called the letter I actually at this point of recording I haven't played much Uh, if I press, I mean, I can show you from my load file. Like I literally have just the beginning of the game. You will see this soon, so I've seen so many of. So, uh, it's just like I started because I wanted to see how it was because I was not sure that I would be into it. It's a visual novel game, and like I am not one for recording visual novel games. I can't say I'm not one for playing because I try them out because visual novel games are usually heavily story based. Um, sometimes it feels more like you're reading a story book where you can choose your endings, and there's nothing much. So I don't feel like you're playing a game, but rather you're reading a book. But so far, I, um, in the game, I haven't played much, like I said, and it looked like that. But the story seemed really interesting. But then I saw this thing where uh, I came to know I can see the branches, and I came to know that there are a lot of branches. So it means that your choices have a lot of variance. in the game so that seemed interesting and i thought hey uh let me record it as i play so that said i decided to just you know start all over since i have not finished anything of the game actually uh so before i start off with the game just what i know is i think it was yang yang yeah i mean like this game is an interesting visual novel produced by Yang Yang Mobile or Yang Yang yeah Yang Yang Mobile it's a filipino group and uh, this was backed by a kickstarter and uh, apparently out of all the parts in this game there are seven mind you one of them is a kickstarter suggestion or something i am not that clear about it but uh, that's just the gist of it i mean not only just of the game but the gist of What I know about the company and about how this game came to be, or something like this. Um, so, like I said, there are seven parts. So, apparently, each part focuses on a different character from what I can make out of it. Like you had to pay to get access to each character. Only the first one was free, and yeah, there's nothing else. Like I only know that the first one's her name's Isabella. She seems interesting. I guess it's just first looks, and the characters are fine. Uh, anyway, so I have nothing else to say to that. I think we can just start off with the game. Uh, and it's a, in case this is not obvious, it's going to be a horror visual novel. So get ready for some random, uh, uh, sound effects and on-screen moments and CGs. It the art looks beautiful though. So, hopefully, this continues on with that. What? Okay. The Ermine Guard Mansion. It was built for Lord William and Lady Elizabeth Ermine Guard, which can I say Ermine Guard, Ermine Guard of Luxembourg, Luxburg. Sorry. Humble ambassadors of peace and beloved by their people, both were well known for their compassion and generosity, never failing to extend a helping hand to anyone in need. Under their influence and wealth, what once was what was once a small sleepy village grew to a prosperous and bustling town. You know, whenever they start a story this way, you know it means something messed up, like shit started over here. They were not innocent or something. Ah. However, the seasons of joy eventually ended when the good nobles perished at the hands of a great plague. A plague, you say? Their riches and legacy were henceforth passed on to their only child, Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. Okay, so, okay, fine. We can forget them. So maybe she's the bad one. The mansion has stood since the 1620s. A witness to a very long history of joy and pain. Yeah, definitely suspicious. Good old Charlotte. Charlotte, damn it! No one else's name was mentioned. 
After Lady Charlotte committed suicide, or was she haunted? The great house was eventually left uninhabited. I think I should not keep theorizing at this point. And besides, it's not like I've not seen this portion already. And that is when it began. Surrounding villages spoke of seeing and hearing unearthly things, of cries and howls that filled the nights and hearsay of a mysterious woman roaming the hallowed halls aimlessly. People who dared enter its walls were simply never heard from again. Even after 400 years, these stories remain much like the house itself. Whispers about the once great house, its legend and its curse still fall upon the villagers' ears. In spite of this, the current owners are convinced that these stories are nothing more than a hoax. With little regard for the truth, they had Briar Realty Corporation place the property back on sale. Okay. Like Pandora's box, the secrets that lie inside await to be discovered by brave souls. No matter what happens, take care not to be consumed by the curse. Good luck. Wait, is this a message to me or just like a full one? It's a prologue. Hello? Isabella? Are you there? Where are you? Yeah, before we go on... See this? I'm just gonna oversee that. Yeah. Oh! Hey, Rose! I'm at St. Goretti High. What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? It's the mansion, silly. I'm here and you're late. Jeez, we're on shift together. You promise. Oh my god, please don't tell me you forgot. You were planning on leaving me to check this place out on my own, weren't you? You chickened out. Calm down. You know I take my promises seriously. Oh no. I'd like to believe that. So hurry up and get here. This place is huge. A bit too quiet since no one's lived here since, like, forever, but... Beautiful, nonetheless. Why are you so surprised? This isn't the first time you've been there. I know. I just wish I could live in a place like this. A place that's haunted? It really takes my breath away. Supposedly haunted. Yeah, well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Not after the rumors that say it's haunted. Jeez, never mind those rumors. Ghosts aren't real after all. You wouldn't say that when you're bad. And even if they are, which they are not. They can't do anything. They're nothing but spirits. You don't know that. They might be listening or watching right now, and they might not be happy with you enough to curse you. No offense, sweetie, but that's a bit of a stretch. Mm, uh, believe it or not, it's better to be careful. Right. You know, not every property we sell will end up with a dead body stuffed in a sofa. Yeah, this dialogue right here. What? The ever-loving hell is this? I feel like there's another interesting story here. Like, can we please get on to this one? I'm pretty interested. That sounds like a mystery story. And I think that mansion is where we'll likely find another one. I can feel it. Uh, normally, I'd be like cringing at Isabella, but since we know it's a horror story, we are supportive of Bella here. That was one time, Isabella! Loosen up! Wait, just get here ASAP, please. I'm getting bored being here on my own. Not scared? Fine, fine. Let me just finish up here. I'll be right there soon. Oh yeah, apparently I am the scary cat. I'm playing as Isabella. Okay, Hunter. see you. And who was that? Who are you? See, this is where I start. I kid you not. So, what I wanted to show you here was... This. I don't care. See. You see this? There's so many branches. Some of the branches don't have an effect because I feel like you take this or this. Irrespective, you'll end up with the same line. But then there are some which have a difference. Let's see, there's a whole lot going on here, but not much here. And then here we have a branch out. 
based on whatever happens here most likely we'll have a branch out so it makes like a huge difference i hope i mean it would be pretty amazing if it if we have that kind of a difference i can't access any of the other charts because i've not started their routes yet obviously and since like the wonders might be spoiled i guess they don't want us to know how many possible routes are there it could be tedious if it takes a really long time for us to get to these points hopefully i can do it anyway so that's one another thing is the relationship status um i don't see anything marked for isabella and i feel that's because you're playing as isabella so um since we have each chapter from each person's perspective and the order is already given um like isabella anna zachary maria rebecca ashton and luke so that's interesting so i'm not sure whether this relationship bar shows my um whether i am in good books with that person or is that person in good books with me is it how the person perceives my character or how i perceive them i am not sure about that but pretty sure it's got to do with how well we blend in together so um i like a happy ending i mean i know it's a horror story so i will pursue a kill all and i'll pursue a save all route i guess i don't know I've not decided that yet. So for now I just thought I'll just go with what my gut tells me to go for. But then I heard that there's a true end. So the thing but I thought best thing is to keep the true end for the very end. Like when I'm done with this game, I will go for the true end so that I will get all my answers before I stop being between for good. So yeah, that's that. Then there was something else. Oh uh, yeah, the journal. So we have a journal. We have of the timelines, what's going on, yeah, and then we have profiles. So um, I can't access the others yet because we're not started off with them. But I'm pretty sure the order is the consistent. So, so let's talk about our character, shall we? Learn a bit more about our character. Maria Isabella Grace Cruz Santos. May twenty eighth, Gemini, twenty six years old. She's five two. Hair, we are the same height. Thank you. Short people. Okay. Um, she's an estate agent. Let's see how realistic we are with this. She's a Filipino. The way they mention nationality, I am assuming that it, not all, but at least most of them will have. Uh, I mean, like there'll be a variety of uh, characters here, a wide variety of them. And because when I saw the picture, the most noticeable ones was Zachary. The most noticeable one was Zachary. I should look a bit more like an anime. Anyways, so so I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then there's Rebecca with her pink hair. We just met her. Anyways. Apart from that, it seems pretty cool. I mean, she looks cool here. She looks cool in the cover art. So, who knows? Anyway, she's a Roman Catholic. I do not know if that's important to this or not. Maybe she can pray the evil away. Who knows? Cinnamon rolls, nice dog food, police procedural dramas, and TV series. That's a misspelling, isn't it? Comedies and karaoke. Ah, we have a lot in common, Isabella. You shall not die if I have any say in it. She's the third child among seven, daughter of a laundry woman and a jeepney driver. What a jeepney! She went to a public school and was an average student, but took to art easily. Eventually, she pursued a degree in fine arts as encouraged by her father. However, when the man was diagnosed with terminal illness, she had to stop studying to make money. Ouch! Isabella's aunt, who helped her get work overseas in order to earn more money than any local job could get her, Rose Cooper became her mentor as soon as she started as an agent at BRC. Uh, that's the Briar Realty Corporation. Right? It's been five years since she met her neighbor Rebecca. She met Ashton during an unfortunate incident involving her first sale at Devlin Court, and later Zachary Trip. Interesting name, Devlin Court. Let's get back to the story now. I think we have had enough deviations. 
So, uh, I'm Isabella. I look up from my phone to see Rebecca. Becca, giving me a questioning look. Oh, that? It's just Rose. Rose? The one you said who trained you for your job back when you started? You're working together again? Sure. Just for this property. We've been scoping out that big mansion down Anselm Village after the renovations. Today's sort of its grand opening to the public. The RC wants to give it one last check before we let potential buyers tour it this afternoon. Wait, mansion? That big spooky one you've been telling everyone about? She sounds like a Brit. I mean, come on. Didn't you keep saying how it just gave you the creeps? You actually went there? And you're going back? I need the money! I am three, the third one out of seven. Well, I did promise Rose I wouldn't ditch her. Oh honey, please, please don't be altruistic. We know you want the money. And besides, a job is a job. Gotta do what you gotta do to make a living. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing! It's just that I didn't expect you to say that. Coming from you, it sounds so out of character. Yeah, living out of living or whatever. I mean, no offense, but you've been freaking out about the place being creepy ever since you got assigned to it. Cursed rumors and all. I you honestly thought you'd back to? out. That poster. What the heck? Not all the time. I could really use a huge amount of cash right now, and this is just the fastest way to get it. There we go, see? We've come to the truth of the matter. Are we in the classroom? Plus, listen to this. Briar Realty wants it sold as soon as possible, and the agent who lands the deal is going to get a huge bonus! So, so, so Rose is my competition or like we are team? They it's never give team. bonuses like that. Getting that would make life so much easier. They're desperate, I'm desperate, it's perfect. Damn. You know, if you're really in urgent need of money, you could have just asked me. Please, I am not one for hand-me-downs, Becca. Or Ashton. Whoever that dude is. We can always let you borrow, and you can pay us back whenever. Aww, that's sweet of you, but I have to make my own living. I have to keep myself a girl as well. In the years of grown up, I can already tell what to expect once she has that expression. Becca! Becca! I've noticed that you've been living off instant noodles these past few weeks. What's wrong with noodles? Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna read these kind of things. Stop eating junk! They're cheap, but they're not good for you. You'll definitely end up in the hospital if you keep at it. God damn it, I was going to say out loud, stop momming me. And I just like, momming is not a word. And the next thing I see is this option, you're not my mom. I, 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 I. One second, you know what, I'm going to save this. Okay. Uh, let's see how this gets affected, okay? And the tree. See, we are at the first part. Okay, so let's go for the obvious bad one. I eat other things too, seems like a fun choice. So you're not my mom. You're not my mom. Yes, way to look like an adult, Isabella. Just stand on your ground. Pouting like a child as you say you're not my mom. God damn it. I didn't say I am. Nope, but you're acting like one. You don't need to boss me around all the time. <sighs> I'm not bossing you around. I'm just telling you to at least mind what you're eating. Remember what happened last year? You ended up bedridden for two weeks after eating something bad. And I ended up having to listen to you cry about how those absences would take a huge chunk out of your paycheck. Oh. Do you want that to happen again? No, Mom. <sighs> oh, okay, I like that. The voice acting is pretty nice, along with the effects. Okay, I didn't know we had those kind of effects too. God damn it, that's gonna be the hardest scene. terrifying, isn't it? <sighs> I'm serious! Okay, I think we're done with the- Aye, we got a negative. We got a negative, Rebecca. And the branches? 
you know what i don't want that so i'm going to load because that looks like a change in tone so let's go for this hey i eat other things too see not much of a pet like a petulant child much better it's the isabella response that's not going to work on me and i saw it when you were cleaning your flat last week to be really like such a bomb oh god the instant noodle cups outnumber everything else what were you doing counting my trash i my stash and my food you're just exaggerating did you even see what's in my cupboard yet i'm not just living on instant noodles alone I've got canned beans, peas, tuna, ham, and even hamburgers in there. What about Isabella? You disappointment of a female. You're not helping your case. Aren't those the same ones you won from the grocer's raffle more than a year ago? God damn it. Oh, I sincerely hope you're checking the date stamps on those things before eating them. I don't want a repeat of last year. Yeah, yeah, we know. In any case, year. Those are still not exactly healthier choices, Belle. She skipped the story of last year with this. Hey, that's helpful to know. So in the plus, I'm getting like bonus tips on how to handle Rebecca. Or is this just how it is? <sighs> what am I going to do with you? That you love me. See, but we're not going to say it out loud. I hope you know that it's impossible not to worry about you when you're like this. You don't have to keep eating the same thing. I already told you before. You're always free to reheat food in my fridge. Okay, am I that desperate of woman? I mean, am I in that bad a condition? Thanks, Becca. I really appreciate it, but you don't need to keep babying me. You've been taking care of me since after I moved here. You have to take a break sometime. Yes, it's yes, better. Good. And before you ask again, no. Woman. You know I'm not a fan of borrowing money. She's a strong independent woman. Oh wait, I am as well. I am a strong independent woman. I don't need no backup to mommy me. What damn backup? You've been sweet so far. I like you. I like you. I can see why our relationship status is pretty high, like right from the get go. The only one who. Not passes as a Rebecca is the happiest initially. Also, next is Zachary. So I can't wait to see Zachary. Marianne and this Ashton dude are on the same level, but I thought Ashton's our friend. And I'm not going to ask you to give me what you earned hard for yourself. Ah, uh, you and your pride. But suit yourself. Cool. The offer stays on the table, though. Thanks. I'm gonna cash it in when the ghost appears for my soul. That is so goddamn true. Friendships can turn nasty. I get that. Well, enough chit chat. Lunch is ending, and my students will be back any minute. Oh, thanks for addressing the fact that we are in a classroom. So you're a teacher then, Becca. We can catch up later. And good luck with your clients. You better treat us to lunch or something if you get that sale. Should I remember this? You bet. History book. You're a history teacher, Becca. I'm so sorry. I hate history. Eh. Uh, But maybe it's because I didn't read history. I have no clue about the manch. Okay, I'm sorry. What am I doing? <coughs> hey, uh -huh. you sure you can manage on your own? You hypocrite! Mothering me when you need to be mothered. I mean, you're still a bit feverish. Wait. That doesn't sound right. But okay. Ah, oh, hush, dear. Don't you worry about me. I'll just drink some medicine and I'll be right as rain. Prove it. Drink your goddamn medicine, friend of mine.
You shouldn't even be working right now. <laughs> Seriously, you big baby. I'll be fine. For now, just go to work and stop making that rose girl wait for you. That rose girl. I'll call you if I still feel bad. And you can come pick me up if it makes you feel any better. Do I have a car? I can't eat my food. I am confused. Oh, this is just like walking and accompanying that way, like how I came along here. Just like me. Oh god damn. All right, but don't forget what the doctor said. Drink this on time. I'll see you later, okay? <laughs> Look who's playing the mother hen now. Exactly. Rebecca! <laughs> okay, okay. I won't tease anymore. I'll make sure to drink it, Mom. Damn, the sound effects though. Okay, so we're going to look through the documents. Mm. I'm sure things are fine. Mm. And my phone's on vibrate, mm. but hey, cool. Mm. Mm. Rose? No. Guess again. Ash. Ashton. Ash. Ash. Okay. Bingo. Hey, what's up? Just checking if you're still cool later this evening. Looks cool, yeah. You mean that thing with Zack? Yeah. He even called in the middle of the night just to remind me. No, don't worry. I didn't forget. I'll be there. Cool. I'll see you later. What time do you get off? Around 5, 6 p.m.? I don't know. What's the time now? Let me save and find out. Oh, come on. Did I save? Let me save. 
save. There we go. Oh, it's already. Is it the real time which I'm It's playing? the first day of the Ermengard Mansion's open house, okay. and we're expecting quite a number of potential buyers. Ermengard Mansion? Wait, how do you pronounce it? Ermengard? You know, the big Jacobean mansion at Anselm Village? I'm on my way there right now, actually. On your own? Yeah, well, Rose is already there, but yeah. I see. Looks like the scaredy cat finally toughened up. Ah, why are you concerned about me? Shut up! Oh. But he's that kind of a <laughs> I'll see you later. Drop me a call when you're done. I'll see if I can pick you up. Whatever. Ashley. Bye. It said Ashley, right? Okay? Stupid Ashley. Yeah, this is that kind of friend friendship they have. Poking fun at each other the whole time, pranking. Or more likely him pranking and teasing her. What interesting. I like those kind of friendships. They're pretty adorable. I have those kind of friendships too. Something's just wrong. Yeah, like those birds, they're the exact same ones. Will they come back again? It's a new. What is this new? I see nothing. I see this paper though. No, seriously, you said new. Oh, it's on 21st October. Uh, before going to the Omegard Mansion, Isabella Santos dropped by St. Gurati High School to check on Rebecca Gales. The former reminded the latter to take off the medicine before leaving. On the way to the mansion, Isabella received a phone call from Ashton Frey, reminding her of Zack Steele's movie premiere that night. Interesting. So we are on the 21st of October. I like how our calendar skips October 19th and 20th. Like it's the day of rest. It's going to be a Saturday, Sunday. We give no shits. Uh, okay. God damn it, this sound. I swear if it's going to make me scream. Are you planning to go inside that place, Missy? Oh, yes. Is there something wrong? Look, Missy, I'm sure you've heard what the people are telling everyone about that place. Nobody likes to be disturbed when they're at peace. And I'm pretty sure whatever they say is in that house doesn't want to either. I admit they did a good job fixing it up, but there must have been a reason why even distant relatives of the family who used to own the house never lived in there despite inheriting it. No wonder they wanted to get rid of it. M maybe they just didn't like it? Yeah, man, do don't spoil the mood. You never know. Yeah, you never know. God damn it. Where's Rose? Isn't it supposed to be like, uh, uh, what do you say? A foreboding? There's a sense of foreboding. Is it something mentioned about Rose Cooper teaching me some shit? It's been five years since she met, so it's like over five years you've known Rose, and you have no, and you just find this normal. Why is it so silent? Thanks. Rose? I don't want to hear Rose, this. Rose, I'm here. Where are you? Where are you? Did voice acting though. Call it up. Damn. Can I like? The number you have dialed has not been recognized. I can't mess with this. The 
number you have dialed has not been recognized. Come on. Rose? If you can hear me, please come out. Come on, Rose! This isn't funny! You know this place gives me the creeps? What? What the hell? Rose? Rose, is that you? Not funny! I'm leaving you if you don't come out! Not coming out, huh? Fine, I'm going! Thank goodness you didn't say you're going to go up behind whatever it is you saw. Because I sure as hell didn't see anything. Praise the Lord. Hello? Hello? Rose, I'm here at the mansion. Where the hell are you? God. Rose, come on. Where are you? I'm... Artistic. What? What? The attic? Why? Oh, she said I'm at... Ick. That was way too big a gap for her to say I'm at the attic. Don't assume I'm attic. No. I wanna know like, this is so stupid and the other hand is like I get it. You're alone, you're this creepy place, you're already freaking out. You know there's one person there, you want company, so you're going towards it. But god damn it. Terrible circumstances rise at the beginning. And the sounds don't help either. I mean it helps create the mood, which is a plus. It's a big plus. Plus for the game, not for what I think might happen. We are at the branch, right? Interesting, we have another branch coming soon. I should not keep looking at that, but at the same time, I really want to keep looking at it. Worst thing is I'm listening to this with headphones on. What? Good time with the sounds. This is the ghost room. What is this? That's the only thing that makes sense. Why have you come to the heart of the place? Sister. Huh? What's this? Great. Great. Just as great. A letter? God damn it, woman. <laughs> I heard the music though.
What? Oh my god. We found it. We found him. We found him. Okay, let's all have to sell this matter. <laughs> Send this to <laughs> Sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a jump scare. I mean that's the most cliche thing you can do at this point. But god damn it, send this to five people or else. This feels like weird as, uh, you know, those uh, weird as YouTube comments, which they be like, don't read this. If you read this, pass it on to five more people or she will kill you. Or uh, those weird fake uh, WhatsApp and Facebook messages and posts. God damn it, I can't take it seriously. Five people or else. Is it just me or do the colors look different though? Or else what? Or else what? You do not ask or else what. You get the answer for it soon enough. No. Oh, please, no. God damn it. See? Oh, 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 you know what, we see, yeah, oh, oh, I do not know which one will help me out, I feel like I ought to pray because, uh, for some reason, but I'm gonna be brave and look up, please don't be bad, yeah, small bin saving grace, I guess, please don't die, please don't die, God damn it. The effect is amazing. What? Shit. Please, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. That's my letter, please. No! Oh, is this like a small mini game, I think? Oh no, I press the wrong key. <laughs> what the heck? Let me check. Yes, even for me, okay? And she falls. Don't tell me you get into a coma by a fall. God damn it. Should I be ready to press again? No. I'm ready. Go. Come, come at me. I'm gonna keep pressing the shit out of this. Okay, <sighs> okay wait. Um, I'm just save this here. All of my hard work, right? Um, and I want to see what happens if I uh, do the other thing. Yeah. If I close my eyes and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, thank God. I still fall down like a clutch. I told them! I freaking told them! Oh man, oh man, oh man! Oh yeah, 
is the exact same line. <laughs> so that's the ghost coming back here too. Hey guys, okay. Um okay, there's nothing new here. So just look at the branch I guess. Um There was something that happens here. I can't click and go here. Oh. You know, I'm curious. So, can I, like, feel, since I do not know if I can complete everything in the world, can I just see what happens in this case? Since we know what happened here. I mean, we had the same ending, so might as well. Yeah, yeah, we can. Can I skip? Perfect. Yeah, I'm not gonna do this. I'm so slow. Oh my god. I'm so bad at this. Oh no. It's gone. Where is it? Oh. Oh wow. Oh wow, that was unexpected. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. We're loading this. <laughs> okay, let's look at a journal. There we go. Um, while looking for her missing co-agent, Isabella Santos finds a mysterious letter in the Ermagard mansion attic. Driven to fear by what she read inside, thinking it's the place's curse at work, she hurried to leave the place only to meet the ghost. <laughs> Okay. What are they saying? It's about five more minutes, Becca. What? It's your life, Isabella. Isabella, can you hear me? Isabella? <laughs> okay. Alright, Isabella, where are we? The Ermengarde Mansion. Why? Ow, my head. And the date today? October 21st? Rose. Last one. Can you count to 15 in reverse order? 15, 14, 13, 12 teen? No, that's wrong. I'm glad you're aware it's wrong. Why are we doing this? She's just checking if your injury is in any way serious. That's an interesting accent. Irish? Is it an Irish accent? It's real heavy. I mean, the accent's heavy. It's a heavy accent. How do you say it? Wow. Wow, Isabella. Your thoughts are so far apart from mine that I have distanced ourselves. Protagonist Isabella, player me. Just do it, please. Rose, for your name being, I mean, despite your name being Rose, why don't you look like a rose? Why is your hair green? <sighs> you scared me for a moment there. I was about to call for an ambulance. And why are you wearing this dumb shirt? Are you alright? Someone, Rose. In the attic. Someone? You mean a client? Oh, oh yes. that's unlikely. It, it's probably just one of the cleaning crews. Yes, yeah, sure. One client's just chilling up there in the attic. The boss sent a few of them back this morning for some last minute. No, not any of those. They're... Ugh. I'm not actually sure. Wait, didn't I call you? You said you were in the attic when you answered. That's why I went there in the first place. <laughs> this just looks like a oh shit, oh shit smile. I 
As much as I'd love to have gotten at least a heads up of your arrival, I didn't really get a call from you. You know, signal here is absolutely horrendous. I was in the garden earlier and couldn't even make a single call. Isabella, I'm going to ask again. Are you really alright? What happened? I... I don't know. It's all a bit blurry. I remember I was looking for you, but you weren't in the attic. And... and there's... whoever it is. Then I must have tripped on a rug or something on the way down. Oh. Oh no. Do you think someone came in while you were out? You left the main door open! We are so going to get into big trouble if something gets stolen, Rose! Perhaps it is a concussion. Are you sure you feel fine? I like we could still call voice. for an ambulance. I could cover for you. No, I'm fine. I'm okay, Rose. I. She did say I'm gonna miss the sale. Actually, she gave me an out since she'll cover for you. Basically, meaning I will do the job. You will still get credit, but you won't be there. Okay, it's kind of a shitty move if you take that and go. But she didn't say that you're going to miss it. Theoretically, but I mean, but in presence, yeah, sure. But I... Besides, if I leave, you'll have to shoulder everything in the open house. Oh crap, I just skipped past it like that. Didn't I? She was just saying you'll have to do it all alone and all. Basically, what I just pointed out. She's just doing it for the money. I like that that is her motivation in this case, not like, I hear this place I have to go to. No, it's like, I need my money, I'm gonna do my job. But I'm See? Gonna... I'm A-OK! -okay. I need company. So I'm gonna get company. It's a bit better, still cliche, but okay. Alright, you in. But if I see that you aren't feeling well, I'm taking you personally to the nearest clinic to have you checked. Clear? Clear as day, ma'am. Thanks, Rose. You insisted. But remember what I said, first sign of you looking not okay, and we're off. No questions asked. Hey, uh, the woman with that amazing voice is pretty much left out at this point. It's just a small bump. Don't worry. You shouldn't downplay these kinds of things. It could be a serious injury for all we know. <clears throat> Uh. <clears throat> she just raised an eyebrow. Yeah, she did. My sincerest apologies, Mrs. Miss. Miss McCulloch. Marianne McCulloch. One sec. How do I pronounce it? It sounded like a cough. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to anyone who's got that name. And if it's pronounced that way, she's a Marian Macaulay. Macaulay. No, it was Macaulay. What is Macaulay? Okay, I can't. I can't. Uh, Macaulay. I want to call you Marianne. Charlie Rose Designs. Hey Rose, it's got your name on it. She interior design at xmail.com. Interesting. Interesting. Miss McCullough, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We're just ironing out a few things, but we'll be starting the tour soon enough. She sounds like an American. Or basically like any other human being who speaks English, I guess. Not much of an accent. And she just went the easy road. Like what I would have said if I'd just seen this. Miss Macala. Miss Macala. Okay. In the meantime, we've prepared some refreshments for you in the parlor while you're waiting. If you could please. Thanks. There's no need for it though. I just dropped by for a quick survey of the place. It's a strong Irish accent. I thought I should check the estate before I meet with the homeowners. Homeowners? Wait a minute. What? I'm sorry. Homeowners? We, we are selling the place today. How can you have owners? What the shit? Yes. Hannah Wright? 
I was hired by her to handle the interior design for their newly bought home. I see Hannah right. You know who else is right? Panic! Oh wait, wrong game. Um... Um... This was an interesting... I don't think we need this branch anymore. It made no difference to the story, so I'll just overwrite it. Yeah. Uh... Relationships? We didn't have anything for that so far. What I want to look at? Ah, branches. Yeah, we got the game over. We got all of these, so that's nice. That's nice. Okay, the rest of them, it seems like the options don't make much of a difference to the plot. So I can keep saving and changing, I guess. Cool, cool. This is the Ermengarde Mansion, right? It is, but... Interesting. Should have saved here. Did I save it? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. I can be a noob at my job. This is the perfect answer which I want to give, so let's go for this first. We're sorry, ma'am. We don't really know what's going on here. If it's okay, maybe we can- Aren't you the ones in charge here? How can you not know what's going on here? I, um, you see, Miss McCullough, right now the house is- She looked at me for help. How could you, Rose? We're really sorry, ma'am. My partner's probably still a bit winded from her fall. Is it winded or winded? Eesh. So I was right. Uh, because I'm losing of like professionality. I like my proficiency. Proficiency or my professionalism. There we go, professionalism points. Anyways. And this is going to be a huge boost. I can already tell it. Yes. Oh, it's close to the Rebecca. Can we become best friends, Marianne? Maybe I can learn to pronounce your name right. It is, ma'am. But we weren't aware the mansion has already been sold. What do you mean? This was more than five years. Come on. In the five years, it should be a bit more than five years, shouldn't it? The mansion is indeed for sale, ma'am. Today is the open house, in fact. However, we haven't heard anything from the higher-ups that a deal has already been closed for this particular property. I if you'd like, my co-agent and me can check with them right now. I thought something looked odd when I arrived here. <sighs> Excuse me, I think I need to make a call to my secretary. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Santos. Yes. Is this how real estate work? work I mean, is this how real estate work works? Uh, never mind that phrasing. I don't think so. There seems to have been a little misunderstanding with my client. If you'll allow it, I'd like to stay and wait for them here. I was informed they'll be dropping by for the open house today. I figured it'd be a waste to just leave after that long drive. I might as well meet him here. Certainly. You could stay at the parlor in the meantime, ma'am. I'm sure it won't be long before our guests arrive. And Isabella? I left a few documents in my car. You know where I keep those. Can you please get it for me? Sure. Rose is... I mean, not Rose, sorry. Mary Ann is a pretty looking character. She looks so pretty. And hurry! we still got a few minutes to double check those papers. Okay, got it. Okay. Yeah, she's still got her doubts about this whole thing. I was just wondering whether it was just paranoia. Why did we have to see that? I like the music though.
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rose Cooper, and this is my partner, Isabella Santos. We'll be taking a tour of the mansion in two groups. Please make sure you filled up our sign-in forms before joining a specific group. Isn't the one else walking around you? Those who want to look around the first floor, please follow my partner. I'll be guiding the ones who wish to see the ground floor. Elegantly dressed bear. I'm sorry. What is she wearing? That does not look elegant at all. Is that a freaking corset in front of the dress? You are a fashion disaster, madam. I don't care how wonderfully expensive that necklace of yours is. And that hairdo. That's, this dress of yours is atrocious. You look like you've got gold bangles. Beautiful. That dress sucks. Rose's shirt is better than your dress. Yeah. Um, you, sir, look fascinatingly amazing. You look, you look pretty good. Nice. I hope you have a nice voice, too. It will add up. Then I might like you. Nice earrings, bro. Cool studs. Pretty eyes. She's pretty. But god damn it, I don't like her clothes. It's so nice to finally meet you. When Chief Inspector Lee mentioned that a famous interior designer is in town, I knew I had to get you. Oh god, she's a typical rich woman, isn't she? Your confidence in my skills is very flattering, ma'am. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. I'm sure you won't disappoint, Marianne. Your voice is hella deep. Oh. You know each other? Not at all, ma'am. You mentioned something about a Marianne on our way here, darling? Who else would you be meeting? Oh, yes, I think I did. Woman, you okay? You're not yet in the house. <laughs> I will agree with you on that. I'm seriously judging that woman's looks. My bad. Considering my sense of clothing. My fashion sense sucks. Oh, it is not the greatest, so who am I to judge? God, that doesn't look so flattering. Don't be a marriage within the family. Please don't make me hate you guys. Some of the furnishings here are actually the 17th century originals, all of which have undergone a painstaking restoration process just to return its original beauty. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip over this things, the sales, because this looks like a boring sales pitch. Even the glass... thing. Colorful ones. Oh, I don't know, but you get the idea, I hope. Especially that one, ma'am. It is said to be a gift commissioned by the fiancé of Lady Charlotte Ermengarde. Okay, maybe I'm not gonna skip. This seems interesting. Are we talking about this one? Hey, you match. One second. Y y can you see this? You just have to look at your eyes. Are they green? The mansion's current owners have specifically requested that the restoration crew take great care in handling it. It's a priceless work of art and the most distinctive feature of the mansion. Isn't this place wonderful, darling? I told you it's not a total waste of your time. Oh, that's a cute sprite. I don't know. Isn't it a bit too small? We might have to break a wall down to have more room. Hey, it wasn't that bad. What the hell was up with that deep gruffness? The entrance. Well, I think it is just right. Don't you think so, Marianne? She said Marianne. Your purpose in messing people's names up. Typical rich woman. It is splendid, ma'am. Professional. But isn't it a little too early to make plans when no deal has been signed yet? But sure, sure. You can't exactly distinguish between Marianne and Marianne. Fair enough. 
No one would have realized if it weren't typed out. Never mind that. It isn't going to be a problem. We've got a wonderful legal team to handle everything. Silver spoon in your mouth, lady. You seem that rich. I mean, that confident. In your money for this. God damn. Is this how a sale works? Start taking notes, though. I think I've got a few things I want changed before we move in. Like how Mr. Yu says he wants wall removed. That's going to ruin the entire beauty of the architecture, isn't it? Haha, <laughs> I thought she'd have to deal with the old ladies. The highlight of the room, however, is what's underneath this hatch here. This hatch? Oh, don't say anything yet. An underground wine cellar. Oh my god, he's like a child on Christmas. <laughs> An underground wine cellar. Damn, that's 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 cool. That's cool. Look right. I get why you're not interested in it, Isabel. You are creeped out. Like what could be underneath it? But. It can be a lot of fun, you know, for kids, family, and they look like a young couple, so. And then he said wine cellar, so if it's not going to be a play area or a storage unit, it is an amazing place to keep your wine, and if you're a fancy as few like him, you might want to have a lot of parties. Or you can save a dead body on there. You never know. Hey, that's what I said. He's an adult. <laughs> Yes, sir. It could house around 7,000 to 11,000 bottles of wine. Truly? And the room? How was it built? The bricks that were used to build the cellar have been carefully picked for the purpose of maintaining and preserving a constant temperature and humidity in the room. It's a good place to keep your private collection in if you have one, sir. It was so general, so vague and ambiguous, it could have matched anything in the world. It keeps the corks in good condition. Oh, love. Didn't you say before that you wanted to make your own personal vineyard? Perhaps you could start one here. You know we're going to need space for that, darling. Isn't this house big enough? I mean, yeah. If it's space you're worried about, sir, the Ermengarde Mansion sits on a 46-acre lot. There's plenty of room for it. We were told that the original owners had a horse stable built here before, too. Yeah, that's interesting. Horse stables. Oh god, the whispers. Ooh. I like how it just came so sudden. It's like made my hair stand on end just because it's like blood and just right in my ears. I like the ambience. Things I shouldn't say when playing a horror game. I hope I won't get used to the feeling later on in the game. Excuse me, everyone. We we will be taking a 15-minute rest here before we visit the first floor. Okay. In the meantime, please help yourselves to the refreshments and snacks we've prepared. If anyone has any questions, feel free to approach me. I'd be happy to help you. Nice professionalism maintained. This is pretty cool though. Um, I like the ambience created. Did she say help me? Why ghost? Do you want some help? Is that what it is? Hello! You there? See? She, she looks so much alike. She got better fashion sense though. Y yes ma'am? Oh, look at you! 
Having to show a group around a mansion this big must be exhausting. Not a problem, ma'am. I'm just doing my job. What a hard worker. Anyway, Isabel, right? Isabella, actually. But yes, what can I help you with, ma'am, right? Please, just Hana. Call me Hana. Hana, okay. I just wanted to ask, how soon are we able to move in? I'm sorry, did, did you buy it? No. So, uh, maybe once you purchase it? But before that, you got to sign some lease forms or some shit? No, wait, not lease. Uh, they got to pay for it first, ma'am. Ma'am, are you a kid? Wait, ma'am, I... You see... But we haven't even negotiated a price yet, ma'am. We haven't even finished touring the rest of the mansion. A sale would be great and all, but... Oh, please, sweetie, don't insult me. Money is not a problem. And, just between you and me, this place is better off with us than with some old lady who will probably just fill it up with cats. Hey, cats can be a dog, but a dog's too, but come on. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with having cats here, ma'am, Hana. I'm sure there's more than enough space here if you want pets. Hana, I actually would have thought it's pronounced Hannah, but Hana, okay, we're going with a different pronunciation. Well, I'm more of a dog person, but you see, this is going to be a gift to my darling. It's going to be our anniversary soon, and it would be so wonderful if you can secure its purchase for us. Why, I can even offer something extra if you help us out with the paperwork. I... we actually have a process for this, ma'am. I don't really think that would be necessary or appropriate. And just what are you two lovely ladies talking about here? Leaving me and our lovely interior designer to talk here by ourselves. <laughs> Is that Mr. Rich? What would the people think, darling? Damn. He's a flirt, isn't he? He's like this huge Casanova of some sort, isn't he? God, that voice. That is... Okay. That was nice. That oh, love. it's just small talk, love. I was asking if she could help me with the paperwork. Wow. I mean, that's what you should have asked for, the paperwork. Before asking about me. Uh, uh, yeah, I can give you a fact sheet and a form to fill out. Wonderful. And Marianne. I'd really love to talk to you about those changes. You took some notes earlier, yes? I did, ma'am. But I really hope that this time... Excellent. Hopefully you can help us out too, Isabel. First thing, the name's Isabella. Second thing, you interrupted her when I was listening to Sweet Sweet Maria. Third, are you going to be pompous? A pompous, sickeningly sweet... Rich ass. Um, Isabella. Not right, sure. right. It's a lovely name, Isabel. God damn it. It's Isabella. Yes, that's great. We'll be more than happy to put in a good word to your superiors, too, and. Don't give it to someone called Isabella now. Give it to Isabella. What's this? Ooh, Ooh she looks pretty in this art he's jealous hair back Marianne's still the prettiest that's uh, an interesting work of art not to my taste though I'm sorry what what art darling buttercup art is a complete overstatement for this garbage it looks like a cheap prop from a D-list horror film. I'm sorry, what? Is that letter there? You're three people. I'm Rebecca, so... Five people have to see it. Including me, so six people. Okay. Shush, love. Let the girl do what she pleases with... Uh, what do they call this? Oh, forget about it. At the very least, it's not as... Dreadful. As the one art exhibit I was forced to attend last month. 
She looks nice here, too. You should have seen it, Marianne. Even you would have been appalled. But I'm sure you'll know what to do with our walls once we get started. She looks pretty, uh... I highly doubt it is as bad as you say, ma'am. Nevertheless, you can be assured that my team will only pick whatever suits your tastes. Nothing of this chain letter sort, of course. God it has to it. always work with a palette. God damn it, that's the letter. Ugh. Why do a professionalism point? I ain't game for myself. God damn it. I'm quite sure chain letters these days don't come in this form. Yeah, stick them on WhatsApp, Facebook. Do they come on Twitter? I don't know. They come in any and every form, social media. Reddit included. Hey, you don't look bad here. I feel like everyone looks cool when they are like in these tiny clips here and these special arts. That's nice. So it's just the CG which is weird, I guess. That's good to hear. See, darling, isn't she an absolute delight to work with? I can't wait to see how this place will look when she's done with it. You might regret it. He might get with her. Ha ha ha. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, Buttercup. God damn, his voice though. I would still put it away if I were you though. Otherwise, people might get the wrong impression. Thank God you're so sweet. Anyway, as I was saying... Isabella? Isabella? Are you alright? You're looking pale. The letter? I I'm sorry, I didn't know. Oh. Oh. I don't want to show the letter. Uh, because we have a possible deal here, I... I really don't want to uh, ruin my chances of a sale. Um, so I won't show that letter, but just to see the options, yeah? Just, just, just to see my options, I'm gonna show it to her. Rose, we need to get out of here. This place is cursed! Isabella, we've already had a conversation about this weeks ago. Those are just stories. And I'm telling you that it's not. I saw something in there. It's not... It's not human at all. I thought it was just nothing, but... Isn't this letter proof enough? One second. Rose isn't even in the list of a relationship. Why has there been a change in relationships? Okay, I get the idea. We have lost professionalism. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Oh, she didn't look at it. Look, I'm really getting worried about you. I know you want to see this open house through, but your condition is more important. Give me a few minutes to wrap things up here and I'll drive you to the nearest hospital. No, no! You don't understand! There isn't a condition, Rose. No concussion at all. I'm fine, but this place isn't, and you're being- Slip it about it. Now, now, ladies, what seems to be the problem here? Nothing, sir. I just had to clarify a few things with my colleague. Well, it certainly seems... Intense. A smile fits the two of you better, in my opinion. I flirty with us in front of your goddamn wife. Especially darling little Lily here. I'm sorry, are you flirting with Isabella in front of your wife? Yes. It's Isabella, sir. He is a chauvinistic, chauvinistic Casanova. Of course, of course. But my point still stands. And with two beautiful ladies here, I'm sure. And I'm sure little Lily here would certainly appreciate it if you remove your pretty hands from her, darling. I think I need to step out for a while. 
I'll be back. Damn. Isabella, wait! Wait, if my theory is right, we saw that thing between Hannah and Luke, and they're married, and she must have a lot of love for him, he must have a lot of love for her. This is how I assume. So, my current action, is it possible that it's affected Hannah's relationship with Luke and Luke's relationship with Hannah just now? That would be pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know how I feel about it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll save this point here. Yeah, because so far in the game, I have done everything else possible for a dear girl here. Yeah. Oh, I feel like we're halfway through. Okay, not exactly halfway. Eh. Uh, I think I can stop the episode at uh, this point, sort of, where are we? Interesting, we have blocked this route for ourselves. Why, what happened here? Was it like if we went the unprofessional route, some shit happened? Most probably. So that's an interesting thing, but that I have to take like from the beginning and I've lost it already. I feel like that's all connected to that side of events. Show ledger to Rose and we continue on with another route. Question. So I think I'll take this route instead because I'm curious about this. And I, like I said, I wanted to not show the letters. So I, Rose, I... See, I didn't want to show the letters, so I'll continue with that route. Maybe uh, when I'm playing like a new route later on in the game, like maybe when I'm working to the true end or something, I can focus on it. Oh, we'll see. And I think my relationship with Marianne is positive now. Yeah, we have reached Rebecca levels. So it means this must be how these characters feel about me, their affections for me, or whoever is the protagonist of the chapter, I'm assuming. Because Mary and Shoyazil didn't get any love from me, or from Isabella at this point. So that's um, good to know. She asked her if I'm if Isabella is alright. Isabella, do you need me to call that ambulance? No. I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Excuse me. I'll be back. I just need to catch my breath. Isabella, wait! Hey, I'm not angry. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. Rose is just concerned, I guess. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And look. Rose, this is... You have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly, and we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean, who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. 
It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery, but I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big. I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... What? Wait. No! I can still work! I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, you idiot. No, I'm not. Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere I can see you and let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. If it's any consolation, I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Please don't. I don't want a repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. The one with the dead body in the chair, because that seems super interesting to me. He called me a noob, and I don't even know what that means. Oh, you poor, poor audio. <laughs> <laughs> So, are we good? I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose! You clearly have not seen how you looked earlier. Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, all right? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. Or at least wait for me to call someone who'll fetch you, okay? Mm -hmm. I think uh, this is where I'll end the episode for now. It's been a pleasure and I'm certainly I'm 100% sure this is not how a real estate sales goes. Um, we had a very boring pitch. But hey, luckily for our protagonist here, there are the rights who clearly want to own this place and will buy this place. So, yeah, yeah, let's go out. Uh, as for the branches, clearly there's this one main branch which we haven't gotten to. So that must be like a negative relationship side set, I guess, for Marianne. Uh, I don't know. Uh, for now, I think I'll try to be a good girl, take what appeals to me, like I said, and find myself an ending I deserve for my playthrough. And then once I finish the entire game, if I loved it, uh, maybe I will uh, record the other side of things, you know, where I put everything goes to shit. Or the true which of the two appeals to me at that point of time, I guess. But for now, I'm just doing things which I feel is best. And whenever I can, I will take the alternate option. That's about it. I'm pretty sure the relationships might play an important role if I choose to form a romantic relationship, I guess. I don't know. I mean, considering Luke's cat, I'm like having my doubts about it. So you can't say for sure what's going to happen, actually. And I like the music, I like the atmosphere. So for now, it's a pretty decent, pretty nice uh, visual novel with some mini game action going on there. I think whenever the ghost comes, I have some action to do, I guess, to survive. So I like that I have a fighting chance, literally, to survive. Uh, so there's no wrong option with the ghost interaction, I guess, until the end, I guess? I, I mean, I don't know. 
because there are like so many possible endings yeah one two three i got three possible endings here so i don't know i don't think all three can be happy ends where i survive so who knows anyways that's all see you next time